I can't believe I spent all that money. Now tell me why they had to put an Ulta Beauty where I lived. Tell me why they had to put... I feel like they had planned for me. Girl, if you want to know what I got from Ulta Beauty and possibly going broke afterwards, keep on watching. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any ever. Do all I can just... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashina Beauty. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button because I don't know if you know girl, but I bring you affordable hair and now makeup slash alls on a budget. But if you're OD and a goodie, thank you for rocking with me. You already know the deal. Let's jump right into this video. Now, girl... We all have been there where we spend too much money on hair, too much money on makeup, and it's not our fault. I feel like they just put stuff in our way, and then we end up spending a whole lot more money than we're supposed to, and then our partners get mad at us. But you know, it's not really our fault. Like, we can't resist hair and makeup and clothes and shiny, sparkly things. We try. We try. We're normally good. But on our bad days, I don't feel like we should be judged. I don't think we should be judged. That's how I feel. Now... When I previously talked to you guys in another haul video, I told you guys that we don't have like a lot of stuff in my area. Like for makeup wise option, like we got a Sephora and then there's your drugstores. So now we got an Ulta. We had an Ulta and it had a grand opening. They had a soft opening the weekend before, but our grand opening was the 22nd. And the first hundred customers would get like um, a gift bag and stuff. I don't know if I I guess I didn't make the hundred because girl I didn't get no gift bag maybe I did and they just didn't give it to me so let's just let's just see what I got because I spent a lot of money at Ulta and I'm like I don't see what I bought but you guys know okay um so first in the bag okay and i already took some stuff out and have it on the table in front of me is um the real techniques now this is the real techniques um face so it has like um foundation and concealer and it also has concealer brush and it has um a sponge now a lot of people have real techniques brushes however i don't and you guys should know, like, I'm a brush person, so it's kind of weird that I don't have one, have any. But I started my makeup game um, late. Like, I used to wear makeup, dabble in makeup, but I wasn't, like, a full-blown makeup wearer. Where I'm like, okay, I must sit down and spend some time trying to create a look. That was just, that wasn't me, okay? that You may be lucky when you see me put some moisturizer on and some lip gloss and that was it or there was a day that i would if i'm trying to be real dressy maybe try a little eyeshadow put a little foundation on and some lip gloss and that was it that was that that was it but everyone has real techniques brushes and i heard that they're really good so i picked up this one and yeah it said it has a concealer brush and i'm like which one of these are concealer brush because uh, this like I don't use that for eyeshadow, honestly. But use that for eyeshadow. Okay, moving on. So the next thing I got again is also another Real Technique brush set. This one actually has a blush brush, and it has the sponge again, and then has the, a crease brush, um, the face foundation brush, and a setting brush. Now this brush, right? which um there's a brush similar to this but it's a little bit more bigger and i see that people use it for their concealer and i went to ulta looking for that brush because i specifically wanted that brush like the main thing i wanted from real techniques was their real technique um brush that blending brush that everyone keeps using for their um concealer because it gets underneath your eyes good and it blends really well i've seen a lot of girls use it tell me why they didn't have any like i feel like all the things i wanted at ulta 
I showed up late because everything was like everything was gone girl like everything that I wanted was gone and I'm like these people really planned for me they really planned for me because my friend told me hey they had a soft opening I was like I wasn't made aware of, of no soft opening like I, so when I got there now everything was gone that I wanted so now I gotta wait for some other stuff because I'm like might as well okay so we have another real technique brush set and again I got some brush to add to my to my collection I'm gonna go broke I am honestly feel like I'm gonna go broke because we have an Ulta and I have an excuse to buy hair products and to buy makeup and all these bad stuff that I love and scrubs and stuff I mean like I'm gonna I, I don't know why they did that to me okay Moving on, the next thing I got from them, which it's funny because I don't have it. I think I'm the only one that don't have any of these. So I have a Morphe, I bought a more, I got a Morphe palette. Now this is the Morphe 35M Boss Mood, um, Boss Mood Pot Palette. Um, I did ask Phoebe for, and if you don't know Phoebe, I will um, try to link her channel down below. She also does makeup videos and reviews on hair like me. And I asked her what palette would she, she, she would recommend. And she recommended the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Now I did see it there at Ulta, but um, I didn't pick it up because I, I'm not ready to pick that up yet. Um, this one is kind of a little bit more um, up my alley. I'll show you what I mean. Um, the Jaclyn Hair Palette is a very beautiful palette, um, and I want it, but I'm going to wait a little bit. They're roughly this, they're like roughly the same price. Now, when you take the, take it out of the packet, it looks like this. It has like this sleek black look and it says Morphe on it. I just think that is beautiful. But the colors inside of this palette, right? The 35 M Boss Mood Palette. Let's see if I can get this open for you. <clears throat> it looks like this. It is very, very colorful. Um, I'm not swatching any of these because, yeah, sorry guys. Um, but I picked this up because honestly, I don't have, um, I think the only palette I have with a lot of color in it is the Take Me Back to, Take Me to Brazil palette uh, from BH Cosmetic. It was the Brazil palette from BH Cosmetic. And the, the, the colors are kind of ashy. Um, so I wanted a really good palette with colorful palette and all my and all my other palettes are normally like nudes and stuff like that i have a um what's it called J um juvia's place okay check out my juvia's place haul i have a juvia's place palette also that is very colorful and stuff. so i'm trying to get into color so i picked this up i will probably pick up a new palette or um or the jacqueline hill palette because he tv recommended it and I'm gonna get it but when I was at the store little story girl and walking the store and I was asking for advice on what some stuff and one of the employees she was standing beside me with another girl and she was just ranting and going on and saying that she doesn't understand why people are buying the Jacqueline Hill palette because it's not worth it and it's really crap and it's not good and I'm standing there looking at her like this girl is really crazy because honestly Aren't you supposed to actually be promoting this stuff, not bringing it down? Like, she was really dogging the palette out. I'm like, I'm not taking makeup, makeup advice from you, sorry, because, I no. It's just not someone that you would take makeup advice from. And that's not, I'm not shading her or anything, but that's honestly the truth. And, like, other, people's love, other people love the palette. And I think she's probably hating on her because she's a big YouTuber or something. I'm not really sure. But she's honestly said she bought the palette and she it, it's crap and it's not worth it. But I, I'm the type of person who likes to try stuff out for myself. Let me don't like it and then afterwards, yeah. But Phoebe liked it. Other people, a lot of YouTubers like it. So I'm going to try the Jaclyn Hill palette and let you guys know what I think about it. But yeah, I got a Morphe 35 um, M, the Boss Mood Palette to add to that. Now, <clears throat> I, I also wanted, okay, so also the, the, the this palette, right? The, the, the Jaclyn, not Jaclyn Hill, the Morphe Palette was running competition with 
the Juvia's Place palettes because I honestly all the Juvia's Place palettes sold out like there was a lot of Morphe palettes left back there was no Juvia's Place palette left when I went there I wanted the um I can't remember what that palette is called, but you guys know, if you guys know Julia's Place palettes, you know they have the green one. It's the first palette they created, and it's all nude colors. They have the big one, and they have the small one. And I went there specifically to get one of those because I love their, it's a perfect nude palette. Like, you, it's an everyday go-to palette, and I wanted one of those. And when I went there, I said, hey girl, can you point me to the Juvia's Place section? Because when I went there, that's the first thing I wanted was the Juvia's Place section. She, she's like, girl, go that way. It's right over there. Went over there and I was like, okay, so this is all the display models. I get that. Okay, cool. Where are they? She said they normally would be in slots behind. I said, like, these, all these slots are empty, but one palette, which was a colorful palette. And I already had that palette, so I'm not going to pick up a palette that I already have. And she's like, yeah, they've been selling out crazy, which to me, I'm like, okay, no, no way they're selling out that quick because in my area, I didn't think people knew a lot about Juvia's Place Pass, but apparently they do because I thought it was all the college kids. She's like, no, it's all the local girls come in and they all like snatch them up real quick. And as I was talking to the girl about like the one of the girls turned to me like, yeah, they're the best pigmented shadow palettes everyone been having. And my mom bought a couple of them. And we're having their conversation. Here comes walking in the elderly lady. Who I'm, I think she's like in her 60s, older. And she's like, I get a brand this because I watch YouTube videos and everyone talks about this palette and I really, really want it. I'm like, oh, what? what? Snatch it up and that was it. All of them were gone. So I am going back to Ulta Beauty. Hopefully after my husband recovers from the amount of money I already spent there um, to get some stuff. Like we're going to give him like a month or two to recover and then we're going to go back again. So the next thing I have I have that I picked up from there is the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. And this is the flirty, the, um, the style flirty and there's five pairs in here. Um, oops, sorry. So flirty, right? And Kiss Lashes. Walmart used to carry these and so did um, Sally Beauty Supply Store. However, I've not been able to find these anymore. Um, Walmart definitely doesn't carry this pack. Well, in my area. I know Walmart online probably has it still or Walmart in your area. But where I live, upstate New York, we don't have this anymore. So I was very happy that Ulta carried Kiss Lashes because honestly, I love, love, love kiss lashes i am deeply deeply a fan of kiss lashes like my walmart has some kiss lashes but they're not the ones that i really 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 like so i'm happy about this and flirty just gives me like this full look because because of my eyes shape and the style and if it's too thin you're not gonna see anything and if it's too thick it's gonna look too bulky so i love these and i love this style like flirty looks very I don't know, very sultry and just dramatic, but sort of at the same time. So I love flirty lashes. Now the now another I got another pair of lashes, which is also kiss lashes, but these are the pompadour lashes. Now I've always heard people talk about the pompadour lashes. Never tried it. I'm happy that they had it. So I picked up one because I honestly do not know if I will like this or not so I was not gonna buy a couple and I'm not gonna like it so if I do like it I will be going back to Ulta to grab a couple of them and if you guys don't know me I'm letting you know I am a lash person like actually I'm a beauty person I love everything beauty wise but I love lashes like you if I'm having a natural look depending I may or may not wear lashes but nine times out of ten I grab for lashes because to honestly it completes a look like any girl who does their makeup out there know is if you don't have long full beautiful lashes you 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 tend to grab for your falsies like my kids have big beautiful lashes because they get it from their dad obviously they didn't get it from me so they, they're gonna have some beautiful lashes those two girls but I don't I don't have big beautiful lashes even when I use mascara just a little bit of thing there uh, it's cute, but it's not dramatic. So, a girl grab lashes. I'm good with that. So, <clears throat> I'll be picking up some more. If it's good. If it's good. The next thing in on my list um, that I got from them is um, the Maybelline Master Fix 
um, setting spray and it's a, and it's a last it's supposed to be a lasting one and it says it's translucent oil free and it looks like this now I want I want a dewy um, setting spray right but I didn't pick up one I saw but I love Maybelline brand anything you guys know that I wear the Maybelline age rewind concealer you know I wear I used to wear the Maybelline foundation I'm not wearing their foundation um, currently because so, I feel like something is going on it's something is breaking me out so I don't wear their foundation currently but I love all things Maybelline I have their fruit me powder I have their setting powder I have a lot of Maybelline stuff because honestly they're my favorite drugstore makeup brand along with Romo London I love their concealer. I've, I've I haven't tried the Rimmel London concealer yet, but I've tried their foundation, their mousse foundation, my go-to foundation. By the way, I also did not pick up any foundation from Ulta Beauty. I will because I want to try their. Um, I want to try the Estee Lauder foundation and the Bobbi Boss foundation. I just and also the what's it called? Mm, the Tarte, sorry, Tarte foundation. I want to try that also, but I just didn't pick up any yet. But I'm going to, and I saw that Ulta has their own foundation, and I think I'm gonna try it. I don't know how good it is. Um, I haven't watched any review of anyone doing an Ulta Beauty foundation yet. Maybe someone has, but I haven't watched any YouTube videos yet about it. I think I'm actually gonna look that up to see if anyone has done it. If you guys have, let me know if you like it or not. Um, I want to try it. I want to see how if, it, if it's worth it, if it's good. I mean, it, the price is not bad on it. So if it's a good foundation, I think I will stick to it. Um, so the next thing I've, I've, that I got is actually a Ulta Beauty Peach Pop. And it's a six-piece um, six blush palette. It looks like this. You guys know I like sleek black stuff. And it has like a, a rose gold writing it's a matte rose gold writing it looks like this this is a beautiful palette from the outside but what is even more beautiful is the inside and that's what the inside of the palette looks like and they have coral bubblegum terracot apricot spice and tuscany sun um, it's beautiful like I don't have um, blushes well I do but I don't use it but I used to have a lot of blushes and then I threw them out don't ask me why but I did because I wasn't growing blush like that I'm like oh, I don't need it so but I had one blush left back and it was from CoverGirl and I hadn't used it like a lot because it's just tucked away somewhere but I love this the reason I didn't use my CoverGirl a lot because I hate opening stuff if I can avoid it like I like like this Doing that works for me. Having to dig through to not don't work for me. So this, yeah, and it has, and, and the fact that I, it's one palette with all these blushes, I don't gotta dig through to find 50 million stuff just to find the blush that works for my look. I can be like, mm, okay, my face could work with. today or it could work in apricot today that is what I like and so and I did actually try this already because honestly this is my second time filming this video first clip got deleted when you got kids stuff tends to go left real quick um, so I tried apricot and she was beautiful so I highly, highly suggest you get this. And this was very, very affordable, honestly. Um, <clears throat> and it's worth it. Next thing I got is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And it's the w Double Duty Beauty. And I have it in the color Medium Tan Sand. So this is what the Tarte Shape, well, this is what the box it comes in look like. Right? And this is actually what the concealer looks like. Now I know everyone knows about Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because everyone on YouTube uses it. Um, however, I have not tried it. I did not want to try it because I did not like the price of it. I am being very honest. I did not like the price of it. It was 20 something dollars. And the girl was like, for some concealer though, it must be heaven in a bottle because it must be concealing 
every blemish, everything that ever happened to me in life, it must be concealing a whole goddamn lot. Like, it, it, it must be worth... This is not worth a damn money that I spend for it. I'm being very honest with you guys. Very transparent. I am a frugal person. So this better worth the money that I spend on it. Now you guys may say I'm over dramatic because other concealers cost more than this. Yes, I do agree with you. But for me to spec up, take up my coin and spend it on just a concealer of this size, it better be worth it. So, um, and, and my friend Laura told me that it is worth it. So I, tr I trust her word. And again, every other YouTuber on here uses a tart shaped tape. So I guess it must be really good if everybody's using it and if my friend told me to actually use it because it's worth it. So I'm going to take Elora's um, word for it and use Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't tried it yet, but I will pretty soon. So yeah, guys. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I have in here is um, Maybelline. The Le Pair Push Angle Mascara. Now again, guys, you know that I love Maybelline. I just told you guys that you know I love Maybelline and this is what this looks like now I picked up um, a mascara because you guys know that even though I have a lot of mascaras already that the applicator brushes don't work for me my lashes are really small and I've been using the same applicator brush that I got and that um, from Wet n Wild uh, because Wet n Wild doesn't sell that line of mascara anymore but the applicator brush was perfect for me so I've just been using the applicator brush in other, in other mascara stuff now this the applicator brush looks like this um, so I am hoping sorry you can't really see that but it's really small airs on it um so i'm hoping this actually is good and hoping that it's really dark because i like a dark dark mascara so um and i tend to be having problems finding a good dark mascara so if you guys have any suggestions out there please let me know what you guys suggest for a dark mascara but i love this again this is the maybelline the the well this for Capri's Push Angle. Oh, Lapi. What? Okay, whatever. This is their mascara. I love this. I have not tried it yet, so I'm open that it works. I love the applicator brush. I don't know if I will like what it looks like. Now, dipping into the bag, this is something that I already used. I opened it up because I said before I filmed this already, but it did not work out. I didn't use anything else. I just used this and the color pop. That's all I used. So. <clears throat> This is by Neutrogena and it's their face wipes. Now, I have not, I used to wear face, um, use face wipes, well, makeup remover, sorry, makeup remover um, a lot, but I ran out and I just hadn't had a chance to replace it. And honestly, I always forget when I go to buy stuff from the drugstore or Walmart or um, so far, I always forget to get makeup remover so what I used is wipes baby wipes and baby oil and it worked wonders I mean I use 50 million wipes but it works wonders and I didn't have a problem using baby wipes because I go to Sam's Club and buy the wipes by the big box um, that holds like you get like I think 20 or something packs of wipes in there or more and I mean they're big thick pack of wipes um sam's club is like a costco to where you live or um i don't know where you guys are. it's like a big store that sells things by the bulk so i don't that's a costco's or whatever else that may be in your area that's what i got again from sam's club um so i was using that but this is by neutrogena and i got the one in the um case because it will look a lot better and I can carry it around and you open it up <clears throat> and you know you can stick your wipes in here I mean you can always take this plastic off but I just keep it there to make sure my wipes don't dry out on me um yeah I just think that's nice I have something to put it in so I know where it is at all times and I can throw it in my bag and I don't have to worry about any drainage or anything so this works great and I can always just refill it I just bought it for the container and I will be refilling this this works wonders because I literally I use a lot of foundation and concealer and I put a lot of stuff on my face and I use the three wipes 
kid you not, three wipes because the third one wasn't necessary. Just use the third one just to make sure I got everything off and I just wasted it. Um, three wipes to get all my makeup off and to me that is phenomenal because I wear a lot of makeup. So Neutrogena, if you're looking for good wipes, Neutrogena, try it out. Um, if you have sensitive skin, this may sting a little bit but not a lot. But it's just dig, it's going into your pores and getting all of that out. So try that out. I will be stocking up on the wipes and have them put down to use, um, remove my makeup. So I'll just, I'll just replace it when I'm ready. But I'm going to buy some and stock up on that. The next thing I have in the bag is, um, it's an oil-free eye makeup remover. And this is by Ulta. And this is what it, it looks like. Um, I buy an eye makeup remover because I, again, use baby oil to get rid of my stuff. But sometimes I actually already have on foundation and stuff. And honestly, I don't want to use oil and stuff to get it off. Or I don't want to use my makeup up to get it off because then it will ruin everything else. So I just want, and I, and I don't like the look and I want to start over. So I just got a makeup eye remover. Um, eye makeup remover. And... This will, I've not tried it yet, um, yet, but I know it will be good because other people have told me that it's been good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this to um, also get my, and, and I have sensitive eyes. So, when I don't want to use the Neutrogena wipes on my eyes, so I, you, I will be using this and hopefully it is not, it does not sting. Um, because, guy, I don't know, I have a stigmatism because I wear glasses. And for some reason, I don't know what goes on, like, my eyes are very, and the lid of my eyes, it's like, it, it, if anything that's a little bit, has a little bit chemical chemicals in it, it kind of burns a little bit, and it burns for a while, and then my vision is blurry at times, so I don't try to put anything on my face that will affect my vision. Like, when I used to use baby oil and wipe my face, all of a sudden when it touches my um, eyelashes and my lid, it, my eyes are like blurry for a good 10-15 minutes. So I try not to. I stay away from that. Um, next thing I got, again, is by Maybelline and it's their Age Rewind Concealer. Now, I did not have to purchase this from Walmart because you guys know I've been using this and I have it in the color um, Golden Dory. Yep golden dory and you guys know this is my favorite favorite concealer but i'm gonna run out soon again so i made sure i stock up on this concealer it's my favorite favorite concealer it's my go go to concealer honestly i don't think i'll be buying this from ultra beauty again because i can get it at walmart or anywhere else and walmart in my area and online have been having sale has had has have been having sales sorry guys that was a little bit tongue twisting for me um on these so i will be stocking up on these but probably not from ulta probably from walmart or somewhere else where i can get them good on sale um let's see if there is anything left in the bag oh no that's it so my total that i spent at ulta beauty is 160 dollars and 86 cents and that is all the stuff that i got from ulta beauty guys I will be going back to purchase some other stuff that I saw that I really, really want. You guys know I love Juvia's Place, so I'll be getting their Juvia's Place palettes. Again, the ones that I want. And honestly, I just want to start a Google Place collection because I love, love their palettes. And I want to try ColourPop, so I will be getting a ColourPop palette pretty soon. But I will be trying the Morphe palette by Jaclyn Hill. I love that. I love what it looked like. I just want to try it. Um, if you guys like this all video, please hit the like button. And if you like videos like this, also hit the like button. And if you made it to the end of the video, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. My oldies but goodies, make sure you have your notification bell on so you can get notified when I do upload my videos. Um, I've not been really consistent a lot, but um, our girl got two kids and... One of them is a new, 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 new baby who don't sleep at night. And anyone who has a baby know when you got a good one and a cranky one, it's struggle. It's a struggle. And it's really these streets. 
So guys, that is it for my Ulta Beauty y'all. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you like the wig that I'm wearing, I did a review on it. So do check the description box. I will leave a link to this video description box. So do check that out. Check out my um, other hair reviews that I have put out. Check out my makeup tutorial also. Uh, yeah, I have a playlist so you can just check out my affordable hair series. Check out my makeup series. Check out my haul series. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys rocking with me. I love you guys. Sorry I may look exhausted right now at the end of this video because I spent all day. Um, yes, girl, this is all makeup that I wore all day today. It is around 5 or 6 o'clock, I believe, and I've been on the road since around 11. Yeah, I've been on the road since 11 o'clock, and it's now 6, and I'm exhausted because I was jumping from appointment to appointment with the two girls, so it's been a long day. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for rocking with me, and until next time, oh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video, comment down below. Everything will be in the description box. Let's talk, let's communicate, let's build a family. I love you guys. Till next time, this is your girl Tashita Beauty. I love you. Bye.